Hey guys, as always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's project. Today we got this 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee, it's a 3.7, and we're going to be changing out this engine coolant temperature sensor. Why? Because we have the P0117 code, which is commonly the engine coolant temperature sensor. Some of the symptoms this can cause is like a no start or it'll start up and die. Um, but it needs to be accompanied by the code for that to be the issue and also a uh, top code. The top code is going to be the priority of the problem and this was our P0117 for today. So this is our little sensor. Let's check them out. Alright, so go ahead and pop your hood. It's a pretty simple project. This is the guy we're looking for. It's basically sitting right up here. We'll have this electrical connector and it's that one kind of squeeze pull up you might want to use pliers or a flathead and then basically we'll just take like a socket looks like a 19 or something we'll screw them out screw the new one in plug them up clear the code and it should be good to go okay guys and what I did to unplug this guy is I took flat screwdriver just kind of stuck them right there and just kind of grabbed on that little squeeze part and just very gently just pry up and it'll just pop right off and then, let's see if we can get a good look at this thing. You can see he's unplugged. You're gonna take a 19, it's gonna have to be a half inch because a 3 8 will not fit on there. So you go ahead and just drop your 19 half inch on there. And then, I just took this breaker bar because I had them laying around. You're just gonna reach in here with the breaker bar, just like this, and of course, lefty Lucy, and that'll loosen it up you could just use like a half inch uh, like a regular ratchet half inch ratchet so then you'll go ahead and I've already broken my loose I think I'll just spin here with my fingers might have to take a ratchet and just kind of ratchet it loose a little bit but eventually just take it off my fingers then of course I'll put the new one in twist it just snug it you do not want to break this off in there um, so again just those German torque specs guten type just snug them on in there then we'll click the piece back on Okay guys, and now I'm just going to finish taking this guy out, loosen him with my hand, and oh, I'm dropping him down in there, Let's see if I can just grab it. And are we losing? No, we're not losing a lot of coolant. We'll go ahead, make sure you have enough coolant too, because that can cause a problem also. And another thing I noticed when I was doing this is your power wire for your alternators right here if you were missing this like and it's just exposed right there know that if you hit your ratchet it's gonna probably pop a fuse and spark at you so just make sure you can if you want to be extra safe just uh, take a tin loosen that up take that connector off and then that'll make that inactive um, or just be careful around it you know and then I'm looking down in here it looks like I don't even see any water in there so check is cool also but for the sake of the video, we'll keep going. So we got our sensor, just gonna reach down in there, kind of start to screw them back in. And once you get two turns on it, just go ahead, take your socket, I'm trying to get two turns on it. There we go, one, oh. And we're almost there. Okay, there we go, one, two. All right, so we're on there. We are threaded, so now, you see he's in there, just go ahead, take your, your socket, and start to tighten them until it's snug and then go ahead and take your ratchet in my case it's breaker bar I'm gonna be super careful on um, putting that back on and this car hasn't been running let's look and see look at that no coolant in there so definitely have to add coolant um, but tighten that up again just snug clear your code if you don't have a scanner you may be able to just disconnect in that wire you may be able to um, clear your code that way if not just plug in your scanner hit the reset for the codes and that's it guys so not too bad of a project thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time